In this design tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple hipster badge. So hi guys and welcome back to a new design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to easily create this hipster badge for yourself. Alright, so let's get started right away with it. I'm already created two new groups here. I'm just going to turn all of that off. Um, first step that I want to do again is create some guides here in the center so I can find my center point so we can have a really nice circle around that. Now in the previous tutorial I actually showed how to work with actions and how to simplify your workflow via just creating new guides quicker. Instead of always going over here, selecting a new guide, I've created some actions. So I'm simply just going to go over to my action palette here, select under my design actions, I'm going to select 50% guides, hit the play button and directly I'm getting these awesome guides here in the center. So if you're not familiar with that, please have a look here on the channel. I've also created just a video talking about how to work and how to create actions. Alright, great. So now I've already got the center point, but I still want to have another action or basically a guideline here at the top. So what I want to do is go back to view again, go back to new guides over here, and we're going to select now under horizontally, I'm going to select like a 10% guide as well. Now as well as I normally always mention, 10% or 0% starts here at the start at the top, and then all going all the way down, 100% is down here again. So 10% might be somewhere around here. Okay, so let's hit OK and directly you guys can see the distance here, that's 10% of our canvas. Alright, let's go to view and do the same process again, new guide. I'm going to go again horizontally and this time I'm going to write 90%. Okay, and that's a pretty good so far. So that's roughly where my lines will be and yeah, where I'm going to create the circle like this. Alright, so let's also go and create a complete new circle and this I'm going to do via actually the shapes here. So on the left hand side, I'm going to select the custom shapes over here and I actually went in and searched on the web for badges, so badges and shapes. And if you, I actually found a ton of these as you guys can see, loads of different shapes just for badges. And down here I've already got a really nice shape which I'm going to use today. Here you guys can also see the website actually, it's called Shape Something, but more about that also in the description down below. Here, shapeforfree.com, that's where I downloaded this stuff. Great, alright, so what I'm going to do is back to my actual background here, my canvas. First of all, I'm going to set here under the options the fill just to a black foreground color. I just want to have it a normal black foreground color. Okay, so then again, what I'm also going to do now is just hit shift here so it's equally expanding and somewhere over here I'm just going to make a big dot and drag it all the way down till it reaches again the another borderline at the bottom. So that's how big my badge is going to be and once I drop it you guys can already see that we have a really nice shape here. Great, okay, so I'm going to just take the move tool, move that directly here into the center. You can also press command T in order to get these little boxes here so you can see when it's really in the center. Again, with Move tool, I can literally just tap with my cursors left and right, and now it's pretty much in the center. Great. Okay, I'm going to hit Enter, accept that. Yeah, happy. So, these lines here from the shape, as you guys can see, there are a little bit of these rugged outlines here, and they're irritating me a little bit. So, what I want to do, I just want to hide them. So, I'm going to press Command, Alt, and H together, and now they are hidden, and it's a little bit out of my way. Okay, great. So for the next step, what we're going to do is also select a brush because we want to start out here just at the top with a nice mustache. So I'm going to create a new layer here. Let's maybe also make some space here so we can have some more space for our layers. Great. And I'm also going to write here just mustache. So again, you guys know what what is and that's our shape and that is something old from the previous badge here. Okay, so under the mustache, what we're going to do is select the brushes over here, or B for brush, just a normal brush. And again, you guys can see I've already got the mustache selected. Literally just go into your brush folder. And in here, obviously, you have tons of different brushes. Yours might not look like this. You might just have a few. Simply go online and just type in brushes for mustaches or weather or stars, smoke, whatever you want. There's tons of brushes out there. As well, there's also, go and check in the description, I've listed everything for you guys. Now for this tutorial, I'm basically going to select this mustache here. I don't want to have a curling one, just a plain straight one actually. 
Okay, so I'm going to click back onto the canvas and the size is also pretty big already. You can also hold control alt together, move left and right, which will obviously uh, determine here the diameter and the size of your brush or if, if you go up and down the hardness here, the opacity of your brush. I want the brush to be 100% so that's all good and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller like a tap like this. And what's the really nice thing now still with the guides, I can still see where I'm placing this so let's just put it somewhere over here, one tap, and we already have a really nice mustache. Okay, great. So I can still, obviously, with the move tool, move it around. I'm just going to leave it in that position for the start. Yeah, and now we're going to go over and create our first text over here. So again, select the text tool. Literally just make a super big text over here. Great. Okay, and we're going to write now in capital letters, hipster. Okay, and the font is also selected already that I've used earlier. Again, the font wouldn't normally be selected. So I went to dafont.com. There's also the font is in the description down below, so you can find it there. It's basically here called Ride Squad. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just make it a little bit bigger. I want this to be nice and big. Yeah, something around 30 points. Okay, select that or accept it, and I'm going to take the Move tool. Yeah, and just move it with my cursors back into the center. You can also take the mouse for that. Yeah, literally spaces somewhere in here. We can actually, we can try if we put it into the center and then later we can move it up a little bit. Yeah, let's maybe put it in the center for the start. This is obviously a lot of feel as well. You can also sometimes just zoom in and out to kind of get a feel for it. I really like it in the center, so that's okay. Next step that I want to do is just drag another helpline down somewhere over here maybe. I want to create like a little line over here. So again, I'm going to create a new layer again and also rename that directly just to line. Okay, and I'm going to take the pen tool this time and roughly just do a line over here. Now I'm not, I'm actually too lazy to do that, but I can do another two guidelines here. Let's just create them. So simply just going to create a few guidelines like this and this is where I actually think my line should be. So somewhere over here. Maybe I'm even going to make it a little bit longer. Let's try that for the start just with a P pen tool and literally again anchor point over here and again another anchor point over here. And now before you select and put a line out of this, have a look that your foreground color here is switched to white. If it's switched to black, it's going to make a black path line there. If it's white, it's going to make a white line. So literally just hit right click and now you can say stroke path and you can stroke it just with a pencil it will create a one pixel line, very thin and very nice line. If you want, you can also select the brush, but then be aware that you still have the mustache select. You need to change your brush and need to also change the featherness and all those little elements from the brush. So I'm just going to go with pencil, hit OK, and directly I've already created a path and basically a line there. But I can't see it because I already have still all these guidelines here. So let's go to view and just say here clear all the guides okay and I'm also gonna hit double escape here so I'm getting out of the pen tool yeah and it looks kind of nice maybe we can have a look maybe I'm gonna double that and just extend that a little bit for now I'm pretty happy actually I'm gonna also press T again get back into the type tool and just create another text down here and we're gonna write now hipster style and that we're also gonna write in capital letters so style over here, I'm going to select all and want to change the font first of all. So again, I'm going to go back to the font types here at the top. And this time we're going to go back to our beloved text font that I normally use, which is again, Helvetica Neue. Okay, so that's also in the description down below if you want to find it there. So I'm selecting both like that and simply first of all going to change here it back to ultra light. I want it really thin and small. So let's change the size as well, like so. And as well, I'm going to go to the characters. If you guys don't have the character box here, please just go to Window, select Characters. Okay, in Characters, I'm just going to expand them a little bit and, yeah, drag it out a little bit. I want some space between these letters here. They're too close to each other. So let's move that out. And it looks still a little bit big. So again, I'm just going to go and minimize that a bit more. Like, just make it a bit smaller. Now I'm going to drag it out a little bit, say maybe to 400. Great. Okay, going to select that. And that looks nice. I'm just going to press V for the Move tool. Move that over again into the center here. Maybe a little bit down. 
Okay, and that I'm still deciding again. I can also always go back to my actions, create again here, just simply 50% guides and select that. So again, we can see that we just really in the perspective and everything and that everything is kind of right. And it looks perfect. It's almost in the center here. Okay, clear guides once again. I'm happy with all. Last set that I still want to do, zoom out a little bit. Yeah, and maybe also create some nice dots here. So I'm going to zoom in. I usually do that. Oh, it was the last few tutorials where I already always showed how to create dots at the end. So again, I'm going to select the elliptical marking tool. Hold shift here so it expands equally again. And just make like a really nice dot over here. Something like that. Maybe command D, get out of the selection. I want to make it a bit bigger. Yeah, like that. Okay, great. So you have an even selection now. Now you're just going to, on this layer here, still holding the mark or still in the marking tool, press right click in the selection, not outside of the selection. In the side of the selection, right click, fill, fill it up again here with white foreground color contents. Okay. Command D, get out of the selection. If you're a Windows user, also please use control when I say command. That's a bit late, but now you know. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And the dot, I'm just going to move it a little bit down. Maybe I'm actually going to create again those lines. So just hips the lines here, back the guides. Okay, so that's the center point. And I'm going to press Command J, duplicate that, move that all the way over to this side, a little bit down. Great, yeah, and that looks perfect. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit again. And yeah, I have to say I'm still happy with this line down here. So I'm going to actually keep those lines here at the bottom. Normally, if I wouldn't like it, I would actually go in and extend this line or change something. But for the start now, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so this is obviously, again, the dot, maybe dot two over here. Let's just write dot two. And this one is dot as well. Going to select all of the whole group here, actually. Command G, create a new group here, and just write here maybe hipster for the start. Hipster B, which is my hipster badge. Okay, so this is again the old one now. Let's just select the old one here. So as you guys can see on the first one, on the previous one, I made this line a little bit longer. On the second version here, a little bit shorter. So it always depends. Um, yeah, you have to kind of play with this, find your style as well, your idea what you want to do with it. And yeah, thanks again, guys. This is basically all. If you like this tutorial, uh, don't forget to hit up the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends. Yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys all next week for a new design tutorial. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>